A basic feature that I added to the app is switching scenes. And so by clicking the various buttons, it moves to another scene in the app. And you can do that with a little bit of code and a plan. Life goes up and it goes down. In this video, I'll show you how I was able to create a scene navigation system for my AR app, Island Fever Augmented Reality, with the Unity Game Engine. And in a nutshell, what we're talking about is how to make the app scene buttons and screens interactive for users. At the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of how scene structures and navigation works in Unity. And you can implement that into the app building process. How to make a app navigation system in Unity. First, make a mind map of the structure for each scene by making a list, then visualizing the connections. Open up Unity and open up the build settings. Add each scene to the scenes and build menu to set up our scene index with a number for each scene. Organize the scene index with the right scenes. Now let's create a navigation script. Create a new folder called scripts to stay organized. Create a new c -sharp script. Open it in Visual Studio and add the namespace for scene management. Create a new method to load the scene from the scene index. We will do scene manager, then load scene. Save it and wait for it to recompile. Create a new game object for the script called scene manager. Add the script to it in the inspector. Make a new folder called prefabs and make it a prefab. Connect the buttons to the script by clicking the plus sign and dragging the prefab over. Choose the scene loader function in our script and choose the scene index for the scene of the button. Input the correct scene for each of your buttons and voila, we have an app navigation system. I was able to create this by understanding how to approach an app structure. We have our design for our app screens and they're already done in Unity as finalized scenes. You can visually see them. We have a list of the different scenes that we want to create interactivity with. And we have a mind map of how we expect to navigate from one scene to the next. And so on this mind map, you can see I have the main scene and that goes to either AR, how to, about, or comics. And you could go back and forth between each one of those individually. But you'll notice that between AR and how to, you could go from AR to how to, but you can't go back. But you can't go back from how to to main. And so it all has to be a cycle. Otherwise, if somebody goes to a scene and they can't go back, then they'll have to restart your scene. And that makes for a very poor user experience. And so we have our list of scenes, we have our scene layout and design, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these different elements and we're gonna integrate that into the Unity game engine. And all we have to do is use the UI elements, which are buttons, and then we're gonna have a simple c -sharp script, which uses a simple method or function that uses scene management, and we're gonna integrate that into it to connect everything. And lastly, when you build it, you build out a seamless navigation just from all these different elements. And so as long as you're able to make this circular navigation with your mind map, and you have a clear list of scenes that you wanna use, and you have your design already, all you have to do is just make those buttons interactive with the code. And it's literally two lines of code, it's crazy. Now time to apply what we learned with an activity. We're going to construct a seamless scene navigation system with Unity and c -sharp. And some key steps to remember are just mind mapping the structure for each scene. Add each scene to the Scenes and Build menu. Create a navigation script using c -sharp. Connect the buttons to the script. And then input the correct scene to navigate in the inspector. And after that, you have a functional seamless navigation system that you can interact with. So go ahead and give it a try and post a reply in the comments to let me know how it goes. And if you're not in a hurry, go ahead and join me as I work on this project in real time. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to build an app navigation. And it's fairly simple. What we wanna do is we want to create an experience that allows us to uh, navigate our apps seamlessly by going to different scenes that hold different pieces of content. 
And so in order to do that, we want to first start off with the mind map. And so what I'll do is I'll just say scenes that we have. And so the scenes that we have are our main scene, AR scene, how to scene, and we have our about scene. Other scenes that have buttons, so our digital comics, so comics and close. But those don't have scenes associated with it, so we're not going to worry about that right now. And so with it, we want to figure out a navigation that uh, that allows us to build a pipeline for us to work seamlessly within our different scenes without messing things up. Right. So we'll just say main for one of them, AR, how to, and then about. And so each one of these are different things that we can navigate very easily. And so we know we have our, our about, we have our how to, and we have our AR scene. Let's make it scene. And so with it, we want to have a, you know, this is going to be our main scene that we're going to be playing. So main scene, that's where they start off with. And so we want them to be able to go back and forth between the AR scene, back and forth between the how to scene, and then back and forth between the about scene. And that's why we have the back buttons for each one of these. But with our AR scene, we want to give them the ability to sell how to actually use that just in case they didn't know how before uh, before they open up the AR scene. So you could actually have a button that goes to the how to scene from the AR scene. And then from that, you can't go back to it, but you could go back to the main scene and then choose the AR scene again. And so that's a that's an easy sort of way to do it. And this is our pipeline that we're really going to use to build out our structure. It's very, very simple, very simple. And so with that, we'll go into Unity. And with it, we have our main scene open and we have these different buttons that we want to we want to make interactive. We want to have the AR, the about, the tutorial, which is our how to. And then we want our uh, and that's about it. You know, those are the those are the three buttons that we need to to worry about with this. So what we'll need to do is we need to connect these buttons. In order to do that, we'll need to go to file and build settings and we'll need to build out a scene index. And a scene index is what you'll see in scenes and build. And this means that when you build an app, these are the scenes in here that are going to actually be in your in your app. And so you could add open scene right there by clicking that and it'll add the scene that we have, the main scene, and you'll notice it'll be scene zero. The index will be zero. So that number, the first thing that you'll have when you start up uh, will be scene zero. And so you have other scenes that we want to add too, right? AR, about, and tutorial. So what we'll do is we'll just grab that scene and we'll just drag it over. Grab the scene, drag it over. Grab the scene, drag it over. And so now we have our scene index, zero, one, two, and three. And we could organize these the way we want. So we'll have AR scene be the second one in the list. Then we have about, and then we have how to. And that is how you build your scene index. Now that we have the scene index done, what we're going to do is we're going to create a navigation script. And this is the script that we'll add to our buttons. And so we'll first start by going to create, create a folder. I'll call that scripts. Just to be organized, you can call it whatever you want, but uh, I like to just call it scripts just to be organized. So then again, I'll right click, we'll create, we'll go C sharp script right there. And we'll call this one scene loader. Scene loader, right? So make scene loader. Again, make sure that you, you name it first before you exit out because then the public class needs to match the name of the scene loader, uh, the name of the script. All right, if it doesn't, then you're going to have issues. And so after you have that, you open it up. I'm going to open it in Visual Studio. 
and we're here is our Visual Studio. So the way scripts work is you have our namespaces up here, and the namespaces are pretty much the libraries that have all the different methods in the and and functions, uh, methods or functions uh, that you're able to call upon uh, based off of a library. And so with it, we're obviously using Unity. So like we have the using Unity engine namespace, which is a library of, of possible features. Another one that we have, which is sort of a, a subclass within our human Unity engine is going to be uh, called scene management. And so what we can do is we could say using, so using Unity dot engine and then dot scene management, you're able to uh, create functions and features that interact with the scenes. And so you can control scenes by using the scene management. And so now that we have that, I'll go ahead and I'll just get rid of the start and the update. And then we'll just make a new method. And so we'll say public void scene loader. And you can name it whatever you want, but uh, I'll just call it scene loader. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say integer, so int, and then we're gonna say scene index. And scene index is what we just uh, added our scenes to on the builder. And then within that, we're gonna say scene manager, and we're going to use the scene manager API and we're going to say load scene. And then within parentheses, we want to have scene index as what we want to load. And afterwards, you hit a semicolon and there we have it. And I'll just make this apparently scene loader is actually something that uh, we don't want to have the public class be the exact same name as that. So we have scene loader and this is all we need. This is the code that we have. So we'll just go ahead and save it and then we'll go back. It's going to recompile. And now that we have that, what we can do is we can go in and I'll create a new game object, create a new empty and I'll call this scene manager like that. And so with it, you'll notice that when I select it, we have the inspector. I'll just take this script right here and I'll just drag it over to the inspector. And now we have it, it's called scene loader. And so now when I select my button, I could go down and where it says on click under the button, we could click plus and we could drag over the scene manager and where it says function, it says no function. You go down to scene loader. And then from that scene loader, you have scene loader right here. And it says int. And so how this works is when I go to build settings, you'll see how it says the index here, 0, 1, 2, 3. These correspond to the different scenes that you could go to. So when I press the AR button, I want it to go to the AR scene. In order to do that, I have to know that the AR scene goes to one. If I have it at zero, it's just going to go to the main menu and it won't go to a different scene. So with that, I know that AR scene is one, about is two, and how to is three. That's what we'll do for the different buttons. So we'll say this is one. And then for the about and the how to, I'll do the very same thing. I'll click the plus sign. I'll drag the scene manager over and then go to scene loader and int like that. And so about, we know that that's going to be two and then how two is going to be three, just like that. So now we'll save it and we'll test it out. So we're in it now, I'll click plus, and we have our button that works for AR scene. Notice how if you click the AR scene, none of the buttons work because we haven't set those up yet. And in a nutshell, that's how you make the scene navigation switch. So now I'm going to go into each one of the, the individual scenes and 
uh, get those started. I'm going to code them, uh, attach the scene manager, and uh, go from there. So you could still follow along or move on to the next video. So with the AR scene, again, I'll create a scene manager. In the scripts, I'll go to that scene manager, move that script over. Then I'll go to the button, the back button. I'll click the plus sign, scene manager, do that. Scene loader, and then scene int. And we want it to go back to the main menu. So we'll have that go like that. And we'll click save. And so one of the things that you can do to make things a lot easier is you could actually make a prefab and a prefab of the scene manager. So what I'll do is I'll actually go through, I'll make a, so move these out of here, scenes, and then I'll create a new folder, call it prefabs. And in the prefabs, I'll just take the scene manager, drop it down here, makes it a prefab, mm -hmm. and now it allows me to do a lot of cool stuff with it. I could reuse this and anytime I make any changes, it'll automatically update on all the other ones. Since this is just the same prefab that I'm using, I'll, uh, I'll continue to use it. So now go to app design and we have our scene manager. So I'll just change the main menu. I'll just click save, go back to main menu. I'll replace my scene manager with this one. I'll delete this. And replace it with the, the new scene manager. And then I'll replace the runtime and I'll have these be the scene loader, just like that. So should be how to is three, about is two, and AR is one, mm -hmm. just like that. And so now let's go to the other scenes. App design, about, we'll click save. We have this back button. And so go here, boom, prefabs, scene manager. We have the back button, add that there, scene loader, want this to be zero. Click save, go to mother scene, which is the how to scene. Select the back, add the scene manager, we'll select back, hit the plus, drag the scene manager over, scene loader, and have it at zero. We'll click save. So now we should have all four menus set up. Everything should be good. We have our about with the scene manager. AR scene, how to, and main menu. They all use the same scene manager prefab. As you see there, we have that, which has our scene loader script, which is a C sharp script with one line of code using scene management and scene manager dot load scene. So let's go ahead and test it. So we have AR. Oh, and I totally forgot to add the how to, right? But we have our back, about, back, tutorials, back, just like that. And so, last but not least, I'll go to the AR scene. And again, I have the how to button. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the scene manager, move that over, scene loader. And in the end, we wanted to go to the how to, which will be number three, like that. So now we have it set up. Okay, so we have our, our guideline right here, which is we wanted, we have our scenes. We have our four scenes, the main scene, AR scene, how to scene and about scene. And this is the navigation that we have with it. And so now let's actually test it out. So we'll click play. And so we have our AR scene. And if we want to go to the how to, we can. And we can't go back to the AR scene, but we can go back to the main scene. If we go back to the AR scene, we could go back. 
we have the about that takes us back and then we have our tutorial that also takes us back so we did this one this this and that and that is how we build our scene nav navigation again you can make it even more robust all you have to do is just make sure that all these things work and they're all aligned in the right uh, scene index and in the right order and if you take one out then notice how it'll change it right and so then it will change our whole order it will mess it all up uh, so we'll add it back and it stays in this order but that is it that is what we have and so again go ahead and try out this stuff and let me know what you think I appreciate all my patreon supporters that have made this project possible and are continuing to support me and again if you want to get the project files for this project go ahead and join my patreon and if you haven't already go ahead and join the discord because there's a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool conversations and that is the best place to reach out to me and help me build this wonderful creative and art tech community if you like this and other videos definitely join my patreon to download the project files and get behind the scenes sneak peeks of new projects and be a part of the sponsor section at the end of my videos download the island fever augmented reality app at islandfever.com or search for it on the apple app store and google play store check out my courses on skillshare gumroad and udemy and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and follow me on social media at Stuck on an Island or going to stuckonanisland.com. All the links in the description below.